Who's getting locked down by all these other heroes here. It's feeling pretty good top to they bottom. They do go with the Invoker. They, go, but they the get invoker. the Invoker. All right, they go awesome. with it, the Signature. But wow. as you said, maybe going to be forced to play it a little differently to how yeah, the players would, would think, have normally. So they're thinking they can get more farm and be more efficient by contesting the lanes. Underlord can get the 1v1 matchup. The tri lane down bottom can uh, put a lot of pressure onto a Weaver. So with the... No sentries, actually, in this tri lane. No, even without sentries, like Weaver's going to get bullied. Like he begins. has to hold on to that. If he ever uses that Shikuchi, gets caught by a magic Lessons missile, the chain stun will yeah. burst him down. So this is a very tough lane for XY to be playing in. Maybe it's also the time for Faces to switch it up, just to uh, confirm too, this is Ice 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 on the next But if someone TPs to the we, tower, yeah, they're yeah. going to have to swoop through the jungle so the ward will still see them. Uh, so it's a, bit, a little bit more defensive in nature. You're never really sure where the Pudge is going to be, and this is going to keep him uh, well aware. Speaking of Pudge, he is doing those annoying uh, offlane pulls, which is going to kind of slow down some of Universe's farm, but this is also the other reason why EG said they're trailing down bottom. Perfect searing chain. Zai just rotates over, and uh, that is okay. one of the most simplest combinations you could ever find. And there's no vision looking for it. Impose himself fact, on this bottom lane. Rather difficult to do with that Observer Ward, and then you know oh, if this is going to push out. Top. There's a hook from Black, potentially. He's, and got, he's got both the hook as well as the rod. He's got to wait for the, the hook so they get Universe low enough so he can't TP. Yep. You see Universe trying to cut his way back through the tree line with the Quelling Blade. Just causing a couple of problems for him, and uh, does as much damage as he can. May as well spill out the mana. He knew he was dead. Yeah. Well played. A lot of punches there would like, just go for the hook and be like, yeah, look at me, I hit, I hit, hit the hook, I made a good Not play, really. and then... Underlord. Seeing opportunities down bottom. The top lane, they're getting the kills just with the Pudge and not needing the Sunstrike, so... Not quite the, the full potency out of this Invoker. And I think it's time for Black to either help mid or help bottom. He is lining up the hook and hits it mid. And that's going to be a big one if they can keep some male control just before he's level 6. He's still burning down Black very quickly. It jabs the damage, the output. He'll get the last hit in. Zai turns on the Edict, but the Creep Wave will be there to help tank it up. Nicely played. And they've got the Shrine as well, so they don't even have to go Fountain. Assassin. You get him yes. up to level 6 and then you'll start to see heavy rotations come in from Ice Ice Ice. They'll try and become a lot more of a presence on the field. Luckily he's fantastic oh. against heroes like Ember Spirit, who are also getting called out. The hook will land and Black able to capitalize on Samael. At the same time, down in bottom lane, it's going to be a 1-1 trade-off, but you're trading off your Luna. And Confused, XY, trying to get up towards Crit, and Crit still hasn't got rid of that bug. He's actually ticking out just to the bug, so a double kill for the Weaver. That is much needed experience and gold coming the way of the Weaver. Yeah, when you've got 6 CS on Weaver. EG into a more defensive position, commit more wards to actually defend, even though we see Zai just dropping that new ward down behind the tier attack. 1 tower on the top lane. And he's crushed this top lane. He's got double the net worth of the Underlord, thanks to the Pudge's presence up here. So it is going to have to be Ice 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 who... Uh, starts getting active and making plays. Oh, the sun strike! Oh, Samael! So I don't know if he was actually trying to dodge it, but he walked back into Jabs' sun strike. That was good from Jabs. This guy knows how to play some Invoker. Damage up what they have because they're fighting with triple minuses against an EG five man smoke when EG just got mech, and yep. it still felt like Faceless almost win that fight. Yeah, and that, and that's just almost. I would almost say unheard of when you have that Underlord too. Like, that mech fight is meant to be your big thing. It's like seeing a Blink Dagger over on a Slaughter. It's your big reveal and your big advantage gainer. But it just doesn't happen. Now Arteezy gets caught out. Black will get the hook into Dismember. Sunstrike's coming in, and it will be Black who actually finds the last bit of damage to kill off Artur. That's Force a fight, but even if one of those heroes gets caught, it's still very dangerous. Smogus is tearing chains off. Nyx Assassin tries to turn around with a spy Carapace, actually setting up three with the Parallels and Guns against Sunstrike. Pulls him in, the Deafening Blast, a Meteorite, burning some mail, as well as Arteezy on the back lines. The Parallels and Guns control them so well. Another spy Carapace done too. Universe is just trying to bail him out of here, running close and just what? retreat Shemail's back over. No, I don't know why he's still here. Did he actually not get caught inside the ulti? It's a double kill for Black. And Universe went back to the Shrine, but he started just by pulling off the camps. Oh, okay, Paralyzing Cuts, this has to create more space. Nuts is burning inside the Flame Guard. Sunstrike comes in, but Samel's already dead. Crit's gonna join him in Universe. The Tornado, it won't grab him, but you still have the Yule Scepter. They're running close, they look for the extra spill damage, and five heroes from Faces now. It's their turn to group up, and it's their turn to find three very quick and easy kills for no cost. Faces are just plowing through EG at this point there. The casts from Nuts, both last fight and that fight right there, have been to creep absolutely incredible. Even paralyzing casting, if that's not a, like an indication they're doing Roshan, I don't know what is, but it's still going to be way too late. UTP over, but it's already done.
Roshan belongs to Faceless. Black's actually looking for a hook to get this fight on, and he got, got it! He actually grabs the mail, the spirit's away, but you won't have enough life to survive the engagement. In time to spirit out, and now you also get the tornado. The rooting can be there, but a quick jump in from Ice 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 gets the double Huge start of his eyes, and Yule Scepter up. Another hook. Black will miss this one, but the Lashrak will still die. Another Yule Scepter. They just keep chaining one after the other, and Evil Genius is a dropping like flies. Yeah, this is what we saw yesterday from Ramsey on the Drow. Like, okay, this game's gone to shit. Let's just go find the yeah, enemy just jungle. Overall kill Let's say it's just 21 the fact of the 25 kills. It's the fact that Nyx was able to get so much out of out of yeah, the yeah, off, yeah. off the off lane, and then Black and looking for another hook. And wait till he has that Aghanim scepter. Uh, but yeah, you had both Nyx as well as Punch both coming Dyer's online. It's like they never had to sacrifice anyone fallen. faceless. Like you sacrificed the Weaver, and that was all. <laughs> he even had a. Ward there. He had Observer and Sentry. He knew exactly where the Nyx was, he just didn't expect the Nyx to go for that Blink Impale. <laughs> and now with the Shrike down, they might be force some kind of buyback. misplay from Crit. Some male Spirits out, luckily doesn't get grabbed by Hulk on the way through. The same Pudge was, even though it feels like that kind of like oh, jerkness out attitude now He's from melting. Faces, they just run forward. Arteezy can't stand the front line. Sunstrike? You're looking for Ooh. more Sun Strikes in the back lines, but Arteezy moved forward to try and fight. He'll get picked up by the Tornado. He should be able to survive the fall from that, but it's still the rest of Faceless pushing in to the EG base. And they've really got so much to say, so much survivability that EG have no answer to this. They are losing the their racks. Nuts. It's going to be a full death ward. Arteezy has to stand his ground, use the 10 second BKB to win a fight with Samel jumping in, mass amounts of spirits, there's enough damage there, or is it? No, Black just pulls it back in, he's got so much life, he tanks through so much, finally the killing spree will be ended on Black, but really at what cost? EG has lost so much, Universe is locked inside the tree line, the sun strikes coming in, that's the death of Universe. And well, yeah, you got one. I mean, that's the thing, the Pudge with all the kills he's been involved in has three. Even Invoker, like, sun strikes are not fun to verse. This is like the nightmare game to be a support. All Sumail. He goes in aggressively with the Remnant. Ah, uh, that's his death. Yeah. I mean, he thought he could and make some wait, what's the Universe play. doing? Universe is running in too. Zion's in the neighborhood. Throws the stun, but the BKB from the Weaver will dodge it. Universe wants to TP out. The damage from Vendetta, it's enough to kill him. And there it is. GG well played. EG going for some YOLO plays at the end, but it is Faceless who take the control, keep the control.